Welcome to IOTech Encore, an interactive measurement software application. In this short video, we will see how to quickly acquire log and view data, perform computations, and playback log data. Each Encore project consists of one measurement work area and one or more playback work areas. The measurement work area is used for acquiring and logging data from hardware devices. A playback work area is used for playing back log data for post-processing. The current work area is indicated in the toolbar button. Clicking on the button switches work areas. We can also select a different work area from the pull-down list. The Signal Explorer, located on the left of the main window, displays the signals in the current work area. It provides access to the acquired and analyzed data. At the bottom of the Signal Explorer is the log window. The log window stores and provides access to the log data. The data view, in the middle of the screen, is where all acquired and analyzed data can be viewed. The channel view, at the bottom right of the screen, allows us to manage and configure channel properties and to see at a glance an overview of the project's channel settings. Now that we have seen Encore's primary layout, let's walk through a typical measurement and data logging task. To begin from a new project, we need to add a hardware device. Clicking on the Hardware Configuration button brings up a configuration dialog. In the Hardware Setup tab, we can select the device that we want to acquire data from. Notice that the right-hand section of the tab contains the information about the device. Clicking on the Next button takes us to the Acquisition Setup tab. From this tab, we can configure the analog channels, digital port, counters, and encoders, and configure acquisition-related parameters such as sampling rate and start and stop triggers. For this demo, we are using default settings. After configuring the acquisition, we close the dialog by clicking OK. The channels show up in the Signal Explorer window, and the channel view provides an overview of the selections that were made in the hardware configuration dialog. To acquire and verify the first data set, we drag the signals to the data view, click Single Shot. Clicking the Start button acquires data continuously. Notice that with just a few mouse clicks we acquire data and viewed it on the graph. We can make modifications to the channel properties from the channel view. Let's hide the channel view for now by clicking on the Unpin button. To view it again, we can hover over the channel view tab at the bottom. Encore provides functionality to perform computations on acquired signals. This can be done by right-clicking on the Voltage Channel group in the Signal Explorer. After selecting Compute Power Spectrum, the Power Spectrum entry appears in the Signal Explorer under Computations. To view the spectra, we can drag the spectra to the data view. Notice that Encore automatically splits the data view to display the time domain and frequency domain data simultaneously. We can export data from Encore to Microsoft Excel. For example, by right-clicking on the time domain voltage graph and selecting Export to Microsoft Excel, Encore will launch Microsoft Excel and display the exported data with a descriptive header. We can also drag the data from the Signal Explorer directly into Excel. In addition to exporting data, a common task is that of logging data to disk. With Encore, it is easy to take data acquired from hardware and log it to disk. To log data, we first make the channel view visible. Then we enable logging by checking the associated checkboxes. Now, when we click the Start button, Encore will acquire data, perform computations, and log the data to disk. 
Notice that a log data file immediately appears inside the log window. To see a preview of the entire log, we drag the log file into the data view. Once in the data view, we can zoom in, zoom out, or navigate to different portions of the log. Suppose we want to create a project report. We click on the Project Report tab to make the report visible. We can drag signals from the Signal Explorer directly into the report, enter and edit text, change fonts, import image files, and more. When we finish the project report, we can print copies or export the report as an HTML file. In just a few minutes, we created a project that allows us to quickly acquire and log data, analyze it, and create a project report. Encore also provides the ability to play back the log data for post-processing and further analysis. We click on the Work Area button to switch the work area from Measurement to Playback. Notice that the data source in the Signal Explorer now displays the two channels that we log to disk. We drag the two signals to the data view to display the log data. Now we click on the play button to start playing back the data. In the display, the data appears just as it did when first acquired. A timeline marker shows the progress of our playback. We can right-click on the signals to add computations, just as we did in the measurement work area. We can view computation results, like RMS, in different types of displays, for example, gauge, meter, and large display. We can also change the start and stop times, and set other playback options in the Playback Options tab. At this point, you can use Encore to create your own applications. Note that our Getting Started manual includes step-by-step -step instructions for basic tasks. You can also refer to the comprehensive help file to learn details about the specific software features and measurement tasks. Links to the help documents are located in Encore's Help pull-down menu.